Welcome to another bucket teacher tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to install a uh, chat manager for B permissions. Um, the one I'm going to be showing you is B chat manager. Since a lot of you guys have been asking or commenting in my uh, last tutorial showing you how to install B permissions, a lot of you have been commenting how to, or my prefixes and suffixes aren't showing up in game. The reason for that is you need a chat manager that implements those prefixes and suffixes. Um, there's several plugins out there that will do this for you, um, such as BChat Manager, which you can see on my desktop. Also, um, Here Chat does that as well, and there's a few others that um, will work with B permissions and add prefixes and suffixes to your name in game. So, um, I've chosen I've chosen BChat Manager because I think it's the simplest um, out of all the chat uh, all the chat managers, and it's very easy to install and to configure. So what I'm going to show you today is how to set that up and configure it. So let's go ahead and open our bucket teacher um, or just your server f files and plugins folder. Also I'm using um, bchat manager version 1.3. It's the latest version. It was re um, released three days ago and it has some new features I'm going to talk about as well. So let's drag this into our plugins folder and let's go ahead and start our server so it gets all that. All right, now that our server has created the folder, or it should have, we can close our server, go to our plugins folder, and now you will see a bchat manager plugin, uh, or not a plugin, but a folder right here. So let's double click on that, and you'll see one single config file, and that's all you really need for this um, chat manager. So let's double click on it and check it out. Alright, so it's pretty simple. I'm going to explain everything to you. So, first off, chat range. This is a um, chat range. So, what means you have to be in within 100 blocks radius to see the people chatting around you. You can disable this or enable it. So, it's good for um, RPG servers. Um, so, if you had an RPG server, this would be um, relevant to you. Um, so you can turn this off and on, which it's down here. It's um, called ranged mode. So if you set to true, this will be on. And if you set it to false, it will be off. Um, I'm going to leave it off for this tutorial. And then you can change the block radius of how far they have to be next to you to see your text. Um, display name format. Um, it formats the player's name, so what it looks like. Um, I'd leave this alone because you'll need it in the next um, format. So message format. So this is so when someone talks, what does it look like? As of right now, it has prefix, space, player's name, colon, and then space message. <clears throat> so for example, this is what it looked like. So if you had a group admin and had the prefix admin it would look like this that's what it looks like um, at the current state with um, the setup right here so you can change this um, however you'd like um, right now I like it just how it is but you can change it if you want there make sure you have these percent signs in front of the prefixes and the players Otherwise, it will not um, recognize what you're talking about. There's more of these as well. So you can add percent world. And what that will do, it will add the world before, before what they say. So if I'm like in the nether, it'll say world nether admin Apache killer high. That's what it'll, it'll look like. Um... You can add suffix, which we don't have right now, but you can put that after your name or before your name, however you would like it. So you can put suffix, and then you got suffix after the name. This is getting quite crowded right now. So we're gonna delete suffix and delete the world because I don't like either one of those, but you can add them if you like. Um, what else is there? Yep, that's about it. So you got your prefixes, your 
suffixes, your players, your world if you want it, and your message. Those are the um, your choices. All right, now on to the local message format. Um, so this is what it'll look like if you have chat range mode on. If if you're within within a hundred blocks, the local format will show up. Now you can format the personal messages. Um, so if somebody sends you a PM on the server using the command, this is what it'll look like. It'll say um, from um, and then the prefix of that player that's sending this message to you and then the player name. And then they'll have this arrow right here, which you can get rid of that if you'd like. You can have um, colon, which might make it simpler and um, more easeable, easy to read. And then it'll show the message. So that's what personal message format is. And then control me is, does it control the command me? You know, it imitates yourself. You can, so if you don't want it to control that, you can turn that to false. And if you do, you can keep it as true. And range mode, we've already explained that. And then alert format, it's a built-in feature where you can send alerts to all your players. And this is what it'll look like. So you can have alert which will show up in red, and then the message will show up in white. Again, I forgot to explain this. You can use color codes in all of these. So if you want your um, message to show up in a different color, say um, green. I think three is green. I'm not, I can't remember. But yeah, you can add um, color codes to any part of this um, config file. So just put an and sign and then put the number or letter that corresponds to the color. Um, and F means white. So, um, so now the last thing, um, the me format, as we discussed up here, it says control me. So if this is true, then this is what will show up. If this is false, then the other plugin that is using me will, um, use that format. So you can set the me format right here. So that's about it for this um, tutorial. So once you have this plugin inside your plugins folder and running correctly, it will add prefixes and suffixes to your game so you can then see your players prefixes and suffixes. So thanks for watching. I hope that cleared some um, comments I've gotten recently and make sure to subscribe and like. Thanks.